can see this clear enough. So I'm going to solve problem number seven. Right? Sorry about all the movement out of focus. Okay. So, and in these kind of things, it's good to diagram. So you have a heater, right? Just say heater. What's coming in? Usually the materials come in horizontally in, in these diagrams, and they leave the same way. So 300 grams per uh, minute. Okay. At what temperature? 9.0 degrees centigrade. And it leaves at 300 grams per minute. You have to do it both so that you know if there's any accumulation that's going on or if it's a steady state. Steady state means that nothing is being accumulated. Everything goes, what comes in goes out. Okay? Now, what you want to do is change the rate to per second, I think. So the rate is 300 grams per minute. Yikes. You multiply that by one minute over 60 seconds. And your rate will come down to five grams per second. Okay? And let's see. What you're looking for is the average power. So power is in watts. Okay? You don't have to use kilowatts. You can use kilowatts. It's okay. So I think we got all the given. This is Ti. This one is T X capital T, okay? See, that's why you have to be careful. And this is the rate or mass per unit of time. Okay? So what is our basis? Again, power is equal to work over time, which means power times time is equal to work. Q is equal to work, first law of thermodynamics. Q is equal to M C delta T. Because there is a gradient, there's a temperature change, so this is the way we compute for our heat. Okay, There's nothing melting, nothing is being vaporized. All right, so that's our solution. Again, A. So we're going to equate this, which is power times time is equal to work, which is equal to Q, right? And then we have, we're have we looking for time, which is Q over T. And this is MC delta T over uh, time. This time we're not looking for, oh, sorry, we're looking for power, okay? And this is going to be in watts. Better indicate that. So here we go. Um, what is our weight? So here you say assume one second. Okay, why do we make this assumption? So the answer here will be watts per second, or no, will be uh, joules per second. Okay, so let's see what that is. Um, mass is five kilograms in one second. So five kilograms goes in, it's heated, and we need the joule value, 4.184 joules per gram per degree centigrade. And what is the gradient in heat? Okay, 80 minus 9. Okay, see, those, that, that makes it so much harder. 80 minus 9, delta T is 71 degrees. Okay, so let's write that, 71 degrees centigrade. And you see it cancel, 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 cancel. We end up with 
um, and then you divide this whole thing by one second right so the answer for all of this will be joules per second which is watts okay so all we have to do is compute five times four point one times 71 divided by 1 okay so power is 1000 watts or power can also be 1.5 kilowatt that nice? Doesn't that sound familiar? Well, that's what that's the electricity that you pay for. Okay? Because a thousand watts is and then we need two significant figures, so that's a very good answer. Okay, I should really verify. Yes. Okay. 